Hello everyone, my name is Michael and in this video I'm going to show you how you can deploy your Node.js app in Heroku in 2022. So yeah, as you might have seen, I have already uploaded a video on how to do that in 2021, but this video will show, will show the updated method and also will go through GitHub and Heroku CLI as well. So yeah, with that said, let's get into the video. So if you haven't already, go ahead and sign up to Heroku and create an account by clicking the link down in the description, which will redirect you to this page. And just go ahead and click sign up and fill up your details, click I'm not a robot and click create free account. Once you sign up, you will probably see a similar page as this one right here. If not, click on Heroku right here or fill any other details you might ask you and you should be redirected to this page right here. So now go ahead and click new and click create new app. Now let's name the app. So let's do Node.js tutorial one, two, three. There we go. So you have to create an app with a unique name and click create app. You can also, by the way, choose a region. So, so click what is closer to the users that will log into your website. So if you are targeting USA client, you can select United States. If you targeting Europe clients, you can select Europe because the closer it is, the, clo the, the faster it will load. So click create app. There we go. Now we have two methods as you'll see here. We have Heroku Git and GitHub. Now what I'll go ahead and do is clone my old repository for an example Node.js app. So let me show you how you can do that. If you click the link down in the description, it will redirect you to my GitHub page and you can click here on code, click here or you can download it as zip, it doesn't really matter. So I'll copy that, open terminal, CD to my desktop, or you can go in your desktop, right click and click open in Windows terminal. Now let's do git, clone and copy my URL, my git URL, and it will start cloning my repository. Now after it's done, and it should take only a few seconds, and remove the .git folder because you don't really need that. Now, let's check the old code to make sure what it does because I haven't checked in a while. So as you'll see, it's a really, really simple app. So we are using Express and then we are creating an endpoint. And whenever you visit that endpoint, you will get this response, which says working, which is good. Uh, and yes, we don't need anything else. So let's go ahead and see how we can use Heroku CLI first, method one, to upload it on Heroku. So if we go here on Heroku Git or Heroku CLI, it's the same thing. Here it gives you how you can do that. So let's copy the commands. First of all, make sure you have downloaded Heroku CLI from this link right here or the link down in the description, I'll have it as well. So scroll down, select your method. If you have Mac OS, make sure you copy the command, open terminal and run it there and it should download Heroku. If you have Windows, just follow along with me. We will use 64-bit installer. Usually with newer computers, you will use the 64-bit. If you have a really old computer, then go with 32-bits. So let me double click to open it, click yes. And now just click next. Now click install and it should start installing all the required packages for Heroku CLI. So just wait a few minutes and it will let you know once it's finished. And there we go. Once it's finished, you will see right here, it will say completed and it will have the close option enabled. So Go ahead and click close. And there we go, you downloaded Heroku CLI. Now go back and we will copy paste those commands right here, but with a few changes, so follow along with me. First of all, we'll go ahead and copy the Heroku login, open a terminal and run this command. Okay, I have to reopen it because 
it doesn't recognize it. There we go. So now it will say press any key to open up the browser to log in. So I'll go ahead and do that and click login. And there we go. If you are already logged in as I was, it will not require you to log in again. Just click login and it will log in. Now let's go ahead and CD to our project or you can go ahead and go to your folder. Click up here if you have Windows and click CMD type cmd or with mac just go on your repository on your folder and now we will do git init then we will copy this command right here and now we will just copy again the command so git add dot then git commit it's similar to github as you do it with github but instead you use the Heroku GitHub or the Heroku Git as it says right here. And there we go. Now we will start pushing the folder into Heroku. And after it uploads all the files, it will also create your website. So let's wait. And it will be pretty fast because we have a real small app. So it only took about 30 seconds maximum. So now to visit the website, you can go here. So copy the link from here or go back and click open up. And there we go. So as you will see, it says working. So that's how you do it with Heroku CLI. And also if you do an update on the code. So let's say I want to remove those. And let's say hello world for some. Now to push the changes, all we have to do is similar to GitHub git add dot git commit dash a m and then update and then git push actually we have to do git push Heroku must and it will push the changes and there we go so that's it for Heroku git now let's go on the github method so again click on github and here we can select our repo after we upload it on GitHub. But let me show you how you can upload it. So let's go back on our folder. Let's delete the previous Git and let's repeat. So first of all, we'll open terminal on our folder and then we will do Git init to create a Git repository. Then we have to go on GitHub and create a new git repository so let's do example now i'm going to make that private so i can show you how you can do that with a private repository and not a public one of course i'll delete that afterwards there we go so after we did get in it now let's follow along but with some changes so let's do git add and then dot then let's copy this git commit so now let's copy the remote. Don't copy the git branch unless you want to create a branch, of course, but I want to push it on master. So that's why I pass this step and then I partially copy this command. But instead of main, I do master. There we go. And if I refresh, there we go. It's uploaded on GitHub. Now let's go back on Heroku. And now let's refresh this page. If you haven't already and make sure you have selected github and now let me search for my repository by the way i am already logged in on my github if you aren't it will have a button or something like that so you can log in so after you log in just follow along with me so we will search for example so let's connect so after finding the repository just click connect and then let's do enable automatic deploys and that's whenever you do a change on your github it will take the updated repository and then update the website so if you want to use that just go ahead and use that i will do that and then let's click for for one time so after you enable automatic deploys you only have to deploy it manually once by clicking deploy branch if you haven't then you have to come back here and click deploy branch again and again every time you make a change. 
and there we go now if we click view it says hello world so yeah that's it for this video let me know down in the comments what would you like to see next and if you got any value from this video i would really appreciate if you hit the like button subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any more future videos so yeah see you in my next video bye bye